Oh. I had never heard of Fantavision before doing the review on it, but I ended up enjoying it quite a bit, so I thought it'd be a good idea to take another recommendation for today's video. Well, I was talking to my good friend and roommate Amanda, and we were talking about some classic PS1 titles that we enjoyed growing up, and she got around to mentioning something I had never heard of before. But I never could have been prepared for the horrors that lie beneath the single word that made up this game's title. Sheep. Not once in all of my years as a gamer have I ever even heard so much as a passing mention of this game. Sheep, huh? I could only imagine that this was some kind of simple title about the relaxing farm life, herding sheep on a farm and capturing a feeling of zen that must come from corralling these adorable little creatures. I could not have been more far off. Trying to describe this game to someone who hasn't experienced it for themselves is a trial, but I feel like it is my moral obligation to inform you, no, rather, to warn you about this game that the human species has, for some reason, unleashed onto our world. This... is Sheep. In terms of the game's premise, yeah, you are herding sheep, but of course it could never be that simple. I mean, I tried to refer to this opening movie to put together the basic plot of this title, but really, I just wound up more confused, if anything. First of all, yes, this game has a plot. The, this game. And second, the lack of any dialogue isn't helping these vague and strange visuals convey what's actually going on here. Why are these cows just straight up milk cartons, but these bunnies are just normal bunnies? What in the world is going on with this creepy disco sheep? What are those things? Actually, you know what? Never mind. What is that? I could never do the plot of this game justice on my own. I think our best bet is to just refer to the manual, but let's read this together, okay? Because, uh... I really don't want to suffer through this alone. Many eons ago, the ancestors of today's modern sheep were sent out across the galaxy from the sheep home star system of Ovis Ares. A few of these explorers landed on a small green and blue planet called Earth. Their mission was to pose as passive creatures, taking the details of their habitat into their group consciousness. However, wallowing in the grass and sunshine, the sheep soon forgot about their mission and they slowly became domesticated by man. The sheep on Earth diversified into many different breeds, including the mysterious and evil <laughs> killer sheep and the fabled golden sheep. Now the sheep ancestors have returned to Earth from Ovis to reclaim their lost flocks. To achieve this without fear of attracting the unwanted attention of man, they abduct several Earth inhabitants and supplant desires in their mind to round up all the sheep and bring them to the fabled Mount Mouflon for, for the journey home? The alien sheep have planted a series of rewards, yada yada, useless info. Alright, uh, this part's good. Uh, the sheep follow their newly appointed guides in the belief that they are going to their mythical dreamland Blue Hawaii. What's gonna happen to you in life for you to come up with a concept like this? That's not even mentioning the plot element of the antagonist, which I guess isn't even this nightmare fuel, as any person driven by logic might assume. I mean, look at this thing. No, apparently the villain of this game is something called Mr. Pear? He's trying to capture all the sheep of the world from his space fortress so he can, and I'm not making this up, use their genes to implant the DNA of sheep into all life on Earth to make them more submissive. What is this? We haven't even played anything yet, alright? This is just the base concept of the game. I've never been this perplexed by a game just based off of the box that it comes in. I mean, just, just look at the box. Health warning. This game contains 100% pure artificial stupidity. You know, I really shouldn't be giving this game any undeserved grace, but I will, nonetheless, give them the benefit of a doubt and assume that that was intentional as part of the joke. But that is the only mercy that I am willing to grant this game. If you make it past the intro movie and still decide that you want to see what else this game has to offer, well, first of all, I'm going to start a support crew for people like us. But secondly, you'll quickly learn why I don't really want to cut this game much slack. Now, something I don't often do with games is waste my time with a tutorial. I like to think that a well-designed game will showcase how it's meant to be played naturally through the way the opening levels are put together, but this sure ain't no well-designed game, so it's off to training we go. The assumption going into this title is that the main gameplay focuses on the action of herding sheep, and yes, that activity is at the core of the game's structure. At the 
beginning of each stage, you can choose your character and the breed of sheep to herd. I chose this good boy because, of course I did, I mean, just look at him. But I really can't figure out why there's different sheep breeds. They look different, and there's these little intro movies that play every time you choose them at the start of a stage, but during the actual gameplay, I can't really tell what sets them apart. As far as I can tell, their AI all works the same. They all act in similar ways, so why even bother? I don't get it. You're generally trying to lead them to a goal at the end of the level, like a truck or something, so you can transport them to safety. Along the way, you're gonna see several hazards like moving vehicles, electric fences, or sharks swimming around in the wheat fields. Stage hazards and obstacles are a good inclusion. Uh, reach the goal while encountering as little harm as possible. It's a decent and basic concept if you ignore all this nonsense surrounding it, but there's a pretty huge problem introduced to the game based solely on the principle that the game fails at getting down one of the most basic fundamentals of game design, moving from point A to point B. You're herding sheep, so it's not enough for you to be able to just make it to the end of the level on your own. These places are riddled with hazards, but none of them can hurt you. Like, maybe they can knock you down for a second, but you can jump right back up, it's no problem. The challenge comes from the sheep themselves. They don't follow you, rather, you're essentially chasing them all around the terrain. The issue here is how hard it can be to maintain which direction these stupid little creatures are actually traveling. Even moving in a straight line can be too much to ask for when these little idiots just start veering off in whatever direction they feel like. No rhyme or reason. Their field of reaction to your character feels like it works 70% of the time until it gets bored and decides to have the sheep wander off to the side and... No, 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 I didn't want this. I, I, look, I'm trying here, okay? I'm just trying to maneuver these woolly whack jobs. But when they decide to wander just a little too much in the wrong direction because I have no idea how they're coded to respond to getting chased around, they fall victim to any number of horrible fates awaiting them in the hellscape that this game calls levels. Tractors on the road? Well, that's an instant death. Getting catapulted into a watery grave because these poor little souls don't know how to swim? Giant mouse traps? Crazy guard dogs? Wooden death machines? Wheat sharks? I am not over that. You shouldn't be over that either, all right? We should never be at a place where we can just gloss over the existence of wheat sharks. It doesn't just stop at the horrible movement controls. No, why would it ever stop there? It would be way too simple if you were just trying to reach the finish line. There's gonna be a counter on the screen telling you how many sheep are present in that particular level that need to be gathered, and they're not always gonna be at the start. They'll often be scattered around the environments of the game, and you have to go find the smaller herds that have been separated from the rest. My first instinct was just to leave the sheep be and go find the rest of them, but sometimes you actually need some sheep with you to get past certain barriers. Your character can't knock over walls of hay or explode these barrels, but I guess your little alien and sheep just have the magic touch or something. Jeez, I keep forgetting that these stupid little creatures are actually descendants of an ancient alien race. I mean, there's also places in each level where you can use your sheep to knock certain things over, collect these little stars, that sort of thing, but the only thing it's worth is just getting you points, and I don't care about those. I'm just trying to get to the end of this place before time runs out. Oh yeah, there's a there's a time limit here. Man, it would be one thing if these levels were long, tedious, and you're traveling around them with the mechanics of the world's worst escort mission, but you have to get it all done before this clock hits zero, and let me tell you, it can get really down to the wire. This game rarely gives you any breathing room when it comes to pacing, and you will, I'll say it again, you will have to replay some, if not most, of these missions because you really have to map out these locations, learn where the obstacles are and how to deactivate them, if at all possible, as well as locating the other sheep and how to free them, where traps are set up that need to be avoided, and you are not gonna have the time to do all that scouting and rescue all the sheep, assuming enough of them even make it to your destination without something horrible happening to them. And now we got demonic meat and vegetables. All right, see, this is what happens when you just brush over the wheat sharks, okay? What, those two normal for you? Well, then you get the demon vegetables. If the, if the Doom Slayer was a vegetarian, those guys would be toast. There's also these little golden sheep statues hidden all over the place, one per stage, and honestly, they're pretty easy to find. By collecting the golden sheep from all four stages in a world, you get access to Snake. I, I mean, uh, this completely original minigame, and I don't know if it has any kind of goal or ending, or why they spawn the orbs you're trying to collect right in front of this electric fence so you don't have any choice but to die as soon as you collect it. I'm... not enjoying myself. I don't even know why this minigame exists. What what would you even get for it? I don't know, and I don't care. I just want to get through this, but I'm constantly getting my sheep destroyed because the developers hate logical ground movement, and everything in this world just has it out for sheep specifically. And I guess there's like six worlds to visit in this game? I wouldn't know. I spent around five hours just trying to get through the first two worlds, a farm location, and some kind of medieval kingdom, and when I made it to the space-themed level, my sheep died, my controller died, and my willingness to play this game followed suit. This is it. 
This is the fourth game that I've looked at on this channel that I have legitimately hated. And the first that I have just given up on. I don't think I have the strength to finish Sheep. I will never know what the real story is behind Mr. Pear or the, the giant demon sheep lord or, or why this ancient race of alien sheep people are brainwashing you to, to herd a bunch of little animals that all think they're going to, to blue Hawaii. And then there's the mutant vegetables, and there's demon sheep, and there's... And none of the sheep are going in the direction you're supposed to be taking them in, because no matter which way you're going, they just kind of veer off, and they end up going through through the sheep shredders, you're getting run over, why are they even sheep shredders? And then there's the wheat sharks, I haven't forgot about the wheat sharks, and they eat all your sheep. You're supposed to take care of the sheep, but I can't take care of the sheep, but I have to take care of the sheep. I gotta... <laughs> They gotta take care of the sheep. Take care of the sheep. Sorry, you had to see me like that. Probably gonna be wearing a hat for a while. At least uh, until my hair grows back in. I don't recommend the game. It might, uh, might break you. Like it broke me. Uh, play it safe next time. Yeah, um, been meaning to look at Ultimate Alliance for a while. I might, might do that, maybe. We'll see. Uh, until then, you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, whichever you prefer. Uh, links in the description and of course as always spread the word tell your friends and until we see each other again don't play sheep see you next mission hey there everyone welcome to the end of the video you know i actually did pick this game up thinking it would be a good time like i, I thought it, it looked like this goofy weird obscure little game man Man, I regret ever thinking this was going to be fun. It was not. It was probably one of the single most agonizing experiences I've ever had playing a video game. But hey, it did lead to a fun video, at least in my opinion. I, I really enjoy putting this one together. I feel like maybe this one's shorter and there's a little less content in it, but the amount of energy I was able, able to put into it was just a ton of fun and I'm glad uh, I was able to do it and I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And of course I get to do fun stuff like this because of great viewers like you as well as my very generous Patreon supporters. As always I would like to give a very special shout out to my top tier patrons this month. Those would be Patricia Marcou, Christine Larkin, Earl Valco, Nicholas Morgan, Wonton Photo, and Suris the Skeptic. Thank all of you so much for your continued support, your generosity. I love all you guys so much. You make it possible and you make it worth it. With all of that said, thank you so much for watching. I have been Wayne. I never want to play sheep again, and now I gotta find a way to draw my avatar wearing a beanie with no hair. Alright, peace.